Through its ups and downs, the relationship between science and faith has always been interesting. For experts like Werner Arbor, the connection is simply part of his job. The Pontifical Academy of Sciences does not make any research itself. It follows the advance of research, makes a synthesis and reports to the Vatican uh, on their insights into new developments. Arbor is the president of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences. He leads a group of experts hired by the Vatican. Their office building is actually inside Vatican City, and even though no lab work is done there, their studies deal with the very latest in science. Physics, chemistry, but we also discuss uh, on the living world, how the evolution works, how, uh, what are the medical implications. We talk on particular uh, aspects of application of scientific knowledge for medical treatments. Every two years, the group meets with the Pope to explain its scientific studies, everything from medicine to enhanced food crops. If the recommendations are found to be ethical by the church, then it supports them out on the field. When we uh, want, for example, to uh, bring uh, applications of scientific knowledge to the benefit of developing countries in Africa, for example. You know. I think the church helps us to bring this knowledge to the people. The academy has about 80 members. All of them are considered some of the best in their field. About one third of them are Nobel Prize winners, including Mr. Arbor. Members come from all over the world and have different religious beliefs, and that includes Arbor, who is Protestant. You don't need to be a member of the Catholic Church, neither necessarily Christian. You, we have Indians who have other belief systems. We have Japanese, Chinese members. On a personal level, Arbor's passion is biological evolution. He says even though he can't prove the existence of God in scientific terms, he often finds himself marveling on nature itself. For me, uh, as a human being, I just say that, for example, the process uh, of biological evolution, which I understand more and more, I say it's almost some, it's a kind of that divine system. So if I say divine, there must be some goddess behind it, so, but I cannot identify it. Arbor says the Vatican does support scientific knowledge and its application out in the real world as long as it's done with responsibility and respect for the best scientists of them all, Mother Nature.